Hello and welcome to another episode of The Heart Guardian. I am Dr. Aman Kapoor and today we are exploring a vital and vibrant aspect of heart health, the heart's electrical system. Joining us is Dr. Jagdish Hiramat, a leading expert in cardiology who will be shedding light on how this intricate system powers every beat of our heart. From normal electrical impulse to complex rhythmic disturbances, we'll delve into how our heart keeps pace with life's varying demands. Electrical system of the heart is the first activity of the life and the last one too. So let's get started. The electrical system of the heart. Heart is a phenomenal organ of the human body and we are absolutely blessed and privileged to have such an efficient pump. Only 400 grams in weight and it pumps out 5 liters of blood per minute and the work done is with remarkable efficiency. It contracts and relaxes 70 times a minute is quite well known but the contraction takes place due to a small electrical current passing through the heart muscle is probably not known. There is an absolutely established electrical system of the heart and the functioning of this system keeps the heart ticking for the entire life. The right upper compartment of the heart or the right atrium houses a battery called the sinus node. It has automaticity and generates electrical current, which then is passed through all four chambers of the heart. This is many a times confused with the blood supply to the heart through the coronary arteries. Like we have in any other engineering construction, the plumbing system is separate and the electrical system is separate, and so is true for the heart. The electrical current generated from the sinus node passes through specified preferential channels and it reaches through these preferential channels to the various compartments. Between the upper and the lower compartment is another substation which is called as the AV node. The AV node analyzes the current and lets it pass through Again, preferential channels called the bundle branches to the right and the left ventricle. In short, automatic electrical current which is generated in the sinus node, this way reaches the AV node and reaches the chambers of the heart. When the current reaches the heart muscle, it contracts and when the current stops, it relaxes till the next electrical current comes. This constitutes one electrical cardiac cycle. The sinus node is a remarkably versatile battery and it controls the heart rate based on the requirement. For example, a person is sitting and writing, the heart rate could be between average of 70 to 80 beats per minute. But when such a person is in deep sleep, probably he requires a heart rate as low as 50 to 55 beats per minute. When such a person is running, probably it goes up to 160, 180 beats per minute because that is when the body requires more blood supply to the exercising muscles. How the sinus node maintains its automaticity throughout life and keeps on generating the current for umpteenth number of times without any fatigue is a marvel of the nature. Because of the complex design, one wouldn't be surprised if something goes wrong with the electrical system. The sinus node itself can get erratic and can become very slow or very fast, known as the tacky brady syndrome, fast and slow heart rate. The AV node gets disease and the current doesn't pass through the upper compartment to the lower and the two compartments are beating on their own, this is called as a complete heart block. This should not be confused with a block in the coronary arteries. This is called as a block of the electrical current of the heart. Beyond the AV node, both the bundles can get blocked 
and the terminology there is a bundle branch block if the disease especially in aging this exists in sinus node the preferential channels the av node and the bundle branches it is called as a pan conduction defect invariably the heart becomes very slow and is go down to such a level that life is not sustainable when the electrical system gets irritable and erratic it can become irregular and the terminology there is called arrhythmia that means the rhythm is lost there are many types of fast rhythms called the tachyrhythms and they could be atrial fibrillation sinus tachycardia ventricular tachycardia the life threatening rhythms of the heart are ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation and sudden cardiac deaths are related to this kind of a rhythm the electrical current starting from the sinus node and ending in the heart muscle through the bundle branches is captured on paper and it is called the ecg the electrocardiogram if a person gets dizzy due to graying in front of eyes due to slow heart rhythm or gets palpitation due to fast heart rhythm it could be captured on the ecg only if the ecg is recorded during these events however these events could be highly intermittent and then you require a 24 hour ecg or a 72 hour ecg or sometimes one year of loop recorder by this way we get information about the ecg while the symptom happens and it is called as the symptom ecg correlation once a diagnosis is made treatment is very easy if there is a slow heart rhythm which is causing symptoms like syncope usually a pacemaker is inserted pacemaker is a artificial battery made of lithium it lasts for about 12 years it weighs about 20 to 24 grams a steel box which is inserted below the skin under the collar bone the connections are inside the heart the pacemaker then acts like the sinus node and regulates the heart a very primitive pacemaker would be a single lead pacemaker without any variations and a very advanced pacemaker would be a dual chamber pacemaker with variability according to the patient's physiological responses the olden day pacemakers were not safe in high magnetic currents like at the airport or the during the mri testing but recent advanced pacemakers are magnet safe as well a newer device called as a micra in which the pacemaker is like a small bullet and it is like an angioplasty inserted inside the right ventricle through the groin so there are no wires there is no surgery and there is no wound and this pacemaker can sit inside the heart and regulate the heart if the heart rhythm becomes erratic and fast many drugs can be used to control the fast rhythm very effectively if there is inability of the drug to control to normalcy or the heart rhythm is life threatening like vt or vf a special type of pacemaker is implanted it's called as the aicd it's a artificial implantable converter defibrillator this device which is about 40 grams of steel box inserted below the collar bone it keeps analyzing the heart rhythm all the time and if a vt and vf is detected it delivers a small shock inside the heart bring the rhythm back to normal and saving lives thus electrical system of the heart is highly evolved designed by nature like any other engine or instrument it can have its own failures which are fortunately not many but if there are failures related to this human being has designed ways and means of overcoming the rhythm abnormalities and normalizing the electrical system of the heart sudden cardiac death and sudden cardiac arrest are commonly mistaken for heart attacks and is actually is a electrical failure of the heart
Thank you so much, Dr. Jagdish Shreemar sir, for generously sharing your expertise and insights with us today. Your valuable contributions have brought immense value to our discussion and inspired us to prioritize our heart health and take proactive steps towards healthier heart future. Now, armed with this knowledge gained from this conversation, I'm sure, friends, it's time for action. Embrace the power you hold to make positive changes in your life, nurturing. the well being of your heart remember to stay connected with us by subscribing to our podcast following us on social media and you can find a wealth of resources in the upcoming episodes filled with informative discussions and practical tips to support your healthy heart thank you for being an essential part of heart guardian podcast for healthy heart together we can make and create a future where our hearts beat stronger and we live life to the fullest our heart and your heart matters we are here to support you in every way goodbye for today